In the ATL, that's my homeboy Watch your back if you're gonna walk alone, boy Cause everybody in the homeboys trying to get rich You could get hit even if you know him, boy Uh, we the kings of the south Pies in the oven, grills in the mouths Count stacks is the usual norm College Park bank here where the hustle was born So peace up and A-Town down Hi everyone, welcome So good to see each and every one of you This is my most favorite day of the week My outfit of the day Love going out, spending it with my husband, doing the catwalk and all the photos, and we laugh and we have fun together, and I love fashion, and I just love doing these videos. So, um, I'm doing this look to match those bee nails that I did, the honeycomb ones, and the matching toes with it. That's what this outfit is. But before I get started, I always love to read a Bible verse to you guys. Now, before I go on to that, I just want to kind of explain what this verse means to me and why I'm using it this week. Now, we all, you know, have trials in our life and we all go through things, you know, and and first off, life is really hard if you don't walk with God. I'm going to tell you that right now. Many, many years ago, I mean, I've been a Christian ever since I was small, you know, a child. I, you know, my parents grew up in church and all that, and we all grew up as we were children um, in the church. But of course, there was a time that I strayed away from the Lord. And I'll tell you what, it is a hard life when you're not walking with God. And this one here just made me feel, I wanted to read this one because it is really sad when we talk about death. Everybody thinks when you talk about death, death is just death, you're gone, that's it. But you know what? There's also such a thing as spiritually dead. And if you're spiritually dead, you are a walking zombie. If you are not living your life right for God and you're claiming to be a Christian or, you know, we all make mistakes as Christians. We're human. That's why Jesus died on the cross for us because we're human. We're going to make, you know, mistakes. And that's why he died to forgive our sins. He, you know, saved us. So, but anyways, you know, you do have your Christians out there that are phony Christians. You know, they claim to be a Christian, so like that. And that's really sad. And, you know, they they hurt others because they're hurting inside, you know. And, and I'm not putting this at anybody. I mean, even myself, I need to learn, you know, to live this way too, you know, because it's important. And I am not one to ever really hurt anybody. I don't do that. I don't like drama. I don't like any of that stuff. I try to stay away from all of that. I like my channel here to be drama free and all that. And I'm not saying I have any problems. But I'm just saying that there definitely are people out there that, you know, like I talked to in a video before that will envy you or, you know, hate you or something. You know, there's no reason to hate somebody. I am no better than anybody else. God made me just like he made you. But when you're living this life and you are not living spiritually for God and walking right, you are spiritually dead. That's what it is. It's the same thing as death. And, you know, it's kind of like the verse in the Bible, live by the sword, die by the sword. And that's truly how it is. You know, like you got people out there that will hurt others, but they claim they're a Christian, but they hurt others, you know, and, and it's because they're not happy in their life. And so what I like to do is I just, I pray, I constantly am praying to God for people I do know, people I don't know, even random people people just out there, I say, God, please just help everybody that needs you, you know? And it truly is. If you are not walking a spiritual life, you are spiritually dead. Again, it's like walking this earth as a zombie. And so I'd like to read the verse. I'm um, kind of based on that. Live by the sword, die by the sword. And if you are living a bad life, you're going to die badly. So what I'm going to go with is Matthew 20, let me, yeah, 26, 52. And this is where Jesus is talking. Put your sword back into its place, Jesus said to him, for all who draw the sword will die by the sword. And it's a quick, simple verse, but so much meaning to that, you know? It truly is. If you live a bad life, you're going to die a bad life. So try not to do that. Just be happy with the life that you have, you know, God gave you. You know, not all of us are rich. Some of us are rich. Some of us are Poor. It's not about the money. It's not about materialistic things. It's about just living your life for God and being happy and pursuing the purpose he has for you. God has a purpose for every, you know, for everybody. We weren't put here by mistake. Each and every one of us have a purpose from God and not everybody will find that purpose. But that's kind of what I'm, you know, doing with my life right now is fulfilling um, happiness, you know, uh, uh, pursuing happiness and going, you know, going out there and bettering myself. And I'll tell you more about it when I get to that point. But yeah, just Try to live your life happy. Don't worry about what everybody else does. Love the life that God gave you. 
you know he gave each of us a great life we all are gonna have hard times i mean i was told at 21 or 22 that i had at the heart of an 83 year old that i will never bear another child i could barely take care of the one child i had um I wasn't even with his dad. His dad was never involved. I mean, I had a lot on my plate, but you know what? God has kept me here for a purpose. I still have my own heart and I love life. I don't envy anybody. I don't hate anybody. I don't want to be anybody. I want to be angel. That's who I want to be. I love the person I am, but I need to learn to love myself more. That's what I need to do. That's part of my problem is not loving myself enough. If you don't love yourself, you can't love anybody else. So, but just remember, you are absolutely wonderful just the way you are. So don't try to be anybody else. Just be you. So that being said, God bless all of you. And let's go on to this outfit of the day. I love this outfit. Um, I got this dress from Charlotte Roos. It is a cute, kind of reminds me of a little senorita, something you'd see like um, uh, like a little uh, Senorita doll or whatever. It's just cute. It's tight, form-fitting, short, adorable. I love it. And I love the color. It's so bright and looks great with my tan. I just think it's adorable. But starting off, what I did is I went, I kind of do this a lot. You guys see this a lot, but I love the high ponytail and the big uh, waves, you know, the big wavy curls. I love that. And so that's what I went with this time was just that I'm going to go up because it is kind of windy out. It's very sight and, or sight, very sunny and bright. I was trying to do both in one word. <laughs> very, very sunny and bright out. So it looked great with the yellow, but it was windy. And so I didn't want my hair to go all over. I was going to wear it down, but I thought, nope, I'm going up with it. I love the look. I've wore it for the last few days in a row and I really like the way it looks. And so that's what I did. I have it up in a high pony. And then I have this band on that I've actually wore before. It actually goes around your whole head. It's a headband that I got from Five Below. But this time I bindered it twice. And it's got those big black roses in it. I wanted to accent everything with black since a bumblebee is yellow and black, right? And that's what I did, bumblebee nails. So that's why I've got the black flowers in the hair there. And I think that turned out really cute and looks really great. It also can be wore as a band. I was going to wear my hair down and wear it as a band, but I wore it up and then just uh, looped it around twice. And then the earrings and the necklace I'm wearing, let me put my hair back here. The earrings and the necklace that I'm wearing, I got from Walmart. I just got it about four or five days ago. And it's so cute. It's a choker and all these chains hang down. I think the other one's just like that right on the other side. Make sure that it's just one over there too. I think so. Um, yeah, just one on that side. Okay, it just hangs down. It's a cute choker. You can go tighter with it. You can go a little looser with it. It's got the extension on it. But it looks so great with this outfit. I love it. I absolutely love the way this chain is. It's all chain, and it's got the black beads, and then this is um, kind of like a cotton uh, choker. It's, got, it's a material. So, and it's lacy like that, and it goes all the way around, and it had matching earrings with it. Same little drop, little black drop that matches these drops right here. They're like a teardrop. So that's what I went with for that. And then the bracelets, I went with these. These were my own. I just um, got, where did I get these? I think the two black I got from a Goodwill. And this one I think I got from Charming Charlie's. And it just goes all the way around. And it's just different, like smokies and black and clears. So I just thought, I thought it would look great in between the two black here. That's why I went with that. And then because it's got kind of like silver look in there, same with the chain, I went with my black onyx ring that is also silver and stuff like that. So I went with that. Um, gosh, you can see my tan line there where I wear my strength ring. You can see, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, but anyway, so, yep, my black onyx ring and that I also got from Charming Charlie's. So Charming Charlie's, these two were Goodwill. This one is Charming Charlie's. And then the rest of it over here is just my, like I always say, my wedding ring, my strength ring, and then my other Christian ring that I wear. So that's what I did for jewelry. And then the dress, like I said, is from Charlotte um, Roos. It is a cute, adorable, tight little dress. Um, very short. It, it is short, but it's still very classy the way I wore it because the way it fits your body, it stays down and it's like ruffled. So I'm going to stand up and show you. And I wore a big chunky belt with it, a black belt. So here it is right here. Here is the belt that I wore. This belt I got from Dots years ago or Debs. I think it was Dots. And it's got the crystal in the middle there. I thought that was pretty. thought it would look great with this. And then the dress itself, Pretty much that's the extent of it. Got There's a, my leg. It's uh, One of my alarms went off. But anyways, it's short. It's very, very short. But like I said, because it is form-fitting, it really just sits on the body nice and the dress stays, you know, in place. So I like that. And you'll see when you see me walking in the catwalk. And when I turn sideways, you see it's tight-fitting and just cute all the way around. Like I said, it's just ruffled all the way around. And I thought it would look great with the black belt belted with it. So... But anyways, I just think it's adorable. I love the spaghetti straps. Now, I actually, I'll show you the back here. I actually 
got one of these things. I got them from the dollar store. They they have those things that they showed as seen on TV where you can clip your bra back like that. And that's what I did with both the straps of the dress and, the, and then the bra straps. Just so, it was, you know, you wouldn't see it. The dress was a little bit low to wear it without the bra. So that's why I had to have the bra. And I went with black just to keep it the theme black and yellow. But that's why I did them together like that. So I think it was cute like that, the way it goes up and then crisscrosses in the back. And then, like I said, because it is so low cut here that it was just so much better to have the black under it like that. It almost looks like it goes together. You know what I mean? Like it was built in together, like the lace was built in with this dress. That's why I like it. But it was, like I said, a little bit too low to wear no bra with it. It didn't look right. I tried going without the bra, but it looks so much better. And even a strapless bra wouldn't have made a difference because how low it is, it shows the bra anyways. So, but it's fine. The bra's got a cute little bow. And, you know, bras nowadays are made, they almost look like swimsuits. So, and I almost did do a black swimsuit top, but I didn't have a bikini top. So I thought that's okay. I'm going to do my bra, which almost looks like a bikini top. So, but that's what I did. And it's this beautiful, bright yellow. I love it. And like I said, Charlotte Russe, I got a really great deal on it. I think I paid, uh, six or eight dollars for it. I mean, like, because, you know, of course, we're not over with summer, but we're in August and things are starting to go on sale and I had a coupon and everything. So I think I paid six or eight dollars for it. Definitely worth it. And I love it. So bright, so pretty. And it looks great when you're tan. I mean, come on. Tan looks so good when you wear these bright colors. You know, it really does. Everybody will agree with that. So, but that's what I did there. Then as far as my makeup and my lip color, I went with um, my... First off, I'll show you, this was my all over, like I've wore before, my all over Maybelline uh, vanilla. That's what it's called, vanilla. It's just a white. I went all over with that and used as my highlight. Then on the inner eye, whoops, looked like I had something on my eye there. <laughs> um, I did my Tropicana palette because it had two of the colors I really wanted. Was the yellow, that is on the inner eye. Hopefully it's still on there good because it's been on for a few hours, but I got the bright yellow in there, and then I went with this black here, because I'm wearing black and yellow, so I smoked it out with the black. I thought that would look cute. Normally, I do colors in sync, so I'll do like three colors, so it'll be like um, a white or a really light color, and then it'll be a, you know, a medium yellow, dark yellow, or pinks, or purples, whatever I'm going with, but this time, because I wore black and yellow, I thought I'm going to do black and yellow on the eyes, so that's why I've got the yellow here, and then down here, I smoked it out with the black. Hopefully, you can see that. I love the way it turned out. It looks really pretty. And then, um, like I said, I did the white as my highlight then on the top. And then my lip color is Mary Kay. It's a beautiful bronze color. It's actually called Beach Bronze. I've worn this before. I love this color. It looks great when you're wearing, uh, you know, just... Something like this with yellow, which you don't know what, you know, what color to go with. I mean, I don't want to go with um, uh, yellow on my lips. So, you know, it's like you don't really, I mean, I could have went with a red, but I don't really like red when you're doing black and yellow. Black and red together, or I mean, um, yellow and red, that would look great. But I thought it would be great just to do a bronzy color here, kind of like a gold color. I thought it would be really great. And I love this. I love this so much. It's like really glitzy and glittery. And it's a Mary Kay, so you know it's a good lip color. Isn't that pretty? I love it. So that's what I did on the lips. And then all over my body, I did my uh, gold spray that I've showed you before, but those of you that are new may not have seen this. It's from Charming Charlie's. The, the lip color, obviously, is Mary Kay. And the palette I got as a gift, and this is from Charming Charlie's. I've had it for over a year, and it's still full. And what you do, it's just a mister. And you can kind of see I already have it on my skin, but I'm just going to show you. I'm going to mist. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous how it does that? It just makes your skin glisten and beautiful. And it looked great because it was so sunny out today. So I thought I'm going to put that on. Looks great with yellow. Gold looks great with yellow. And it also looks great when you're tan. So um, Charming Charlie's has that in silver, gold, or a rose gold. So I got the gold. And then for the shoes and the bag, the bag, I'm just doing this because I just wanted a cute little black bag, but not anything that was real fancy because this outfit is more like girly and fun. It's not really like casual. It's not, um, I mean, you could, you could go out in the town in this or whatever, but it's more cute, girly and like summer-like is what it is. It's not really like a formal or it's not really like a, uh, it, it's classy, but not really like the classy or the casual. It's more just fun, girly summer look. Just great for going, you know, out during the day and and like maybe walking through um 
like a fair or just, you know, something like that. It's just fun because it's comfortable, it's light, and just fun to wear. So I thought I would go with this bag that I got from Five Below. I love the fringe on it. It was great because it's black, and I thought, you know, I do have a few little black cluck clutch purses or bigger black ones but this one was perfect with this outfit you needed a cute little fun purse so i always revert a lot of times back to this one but again from five below for five bucks and then the shoes i love these shoes i also got these from five below look at these i think i wore them in one other video for you guys i love the look they're like that um what do they call it? Uh, the gladiator. I love that look so much. And I had it tied in the back. It can go around the ankle twice and tie in the front. I left it in the back as a big bow in the back. That's how I tied it. But oh, I love these so much. Definitely the gladiator sandal. And it looks so cute with this outfit. Loved it so much. Oh, anyways. Another outfit done and completed, and I love the way everything turned out. Had a great day with my husband. I hope all of you are having a wonderful day. Today for me, it is Wednesday the 8th. Um, you won't get this until Friday the 10th. So, but anyways, I had a great day with my husband, and yeah, it was just fun. I love doing my outfits of the day. We always find cute places to go to. Sometimes it is just a little bit more casual, like today was just a little bit more casual place, but it was still a lot of fun. So, but anyways... Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I bless all of you by God and everybody stay happy and, you know, love yourself. It's important. Love yourself. And if you love yourself, you're going to love everybody else and you're going to be kind. Don't live by the sword so you die by the sword, okay? Love life and pursuit and go after what God has planned for you. And be you. Just be you because you're perfect. I love you guys very much. God bless, take care, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next video. Remember to always keep it keto.